the plan for this one is Dragon Master's uh, Gift of the Water Dragon. Uh, Dragon Master's Gift of the Water Dragon, dedicated to people who love the Dragon Masters especially. And Street Fighter VI, it's going to be live. Begin by simply listening, slow down, see just how peaceful today can be. Uh, thanks so much for swinging by. Uh, I am your host, your obedient servant, Sebastian St. Smalls. The plan for this one is an AI-assisted, unique and original story, Dragon Master's Gift of the Water Dragon, kind of a spiritual successor sequel to 
Dragon Master's Secret of the Water Dragon. Um, and Street Fighter VI, the best fighting game ever made. Uh, again, thanks so much for swinging by. Wish us luck. What game would be visually appealing? It is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be a want of a wife. However little known the feelings or views of such a man may be on his first entry into the neighborhood, this truth is so well fixed in the minds of the surrounding family that he is considered the rightful property of some one or other of their duties. My dear Mr. Bennett, said his lady to him one day, have you heard that Netherfield Park is left at last? Mr. Bennett But it is, replied she, for Mrs. Long has just been there, and she told me all about it. Mr. Bennett made the last entry. Do you not want to know who has taken it? cried his wife in here. You want to tell me? And I have no objection to hearing this is invitation enough. Why, my dear, you must know, Mrs. Long says that Netherfield is taken by a young man of large fortune from the north of England. That he came down on Monday. It would be of it would be of no use if twenty such men visited, be, uh, moved into the neighborhood, because you will not visit them. And it's like I promise you, my dear, or something. When there are twenty, I will visit them all. <laughs> meet her because sound is very precarious in our neighborhood. Shoot. This is a long and complex process. Okay, so then we go back over here and we say, okay. And then we go over here. We just like luck balancing the sound and stuff. So don't mind the echo. That's, that was intended. It makes it sound ghostly and spooky. We think it's spooky. This is Dragon Masters. 
gift of the water dragon, an AI boosted, unique and original narrative in Street Fighter VI, the best game ever. Let's see how we do it. Dragon Masters, the water dragon's gift. Asterisk, asterisk one. The dragon masters sail to a new island with a hidden treasure. The dragon's are a crystal that can boost any dragon stone. Dot asterisk, asterisk. Shoot. Drake looked out at the horizon and felt a surge of excitement. He was on board the Dragon Star, a ship that belonged to Green Rose of Bracken. He was not alone. Shoot. He was with his friends and fellow dragon masters, Anna, Rory, Bo, Carlos, Kepri, and Petra. They each had a dragon stone this might work. their necks, a magical stone that allowed them to communicate with their dragons. Drake's dragon stone was green and shaped like an egg. It matched his dragon, Worm, who was an earth dragon. Worm was sleeping on the deck, curled up like a giant snake. He snored softly, making the wooden planks vibrate. Drake smiled and stroked Worm's scaly head. He loved his dragon more than anything in the world. They had been through many adventures together, fighting against the dark wizard Maldred and his evil schemes. Maldred wanted to control all dragons and use them for his own purposes. He had a black dragon stone that could turn any dragon into a dark dragon. He also had an army of dark dragons that obeyed his every command. The dragon masters had stopped Maldred several times before but they knew he was still out there, plotting his next move. They had to be ready for anything. That's why they were on this mission. Queen Rose had sent them to find a hidden treasure that could help them in their fight against Maldred, the Dragon's Eye. The Dragon's Eye was a crystal that could boost any dragon stone's power. It could make any dragon stronger, faster, smarter, and more magical. It could also reveal hidden secrets and mysteries. Queen Rose had learned about the dragon's eye from an old map that she had found in her castle's library. The map showed an island in the middle of the ocean, marked with an X. Can you hear this stuff? The map also had a riddle written on it. Now to find the treasure that you seek. You must sail across the deep. The island lies where sun and moon. Meet in harmony and tune. But beware of what you find. For not all treasures are coming in the asterisk. The Queen Rose had given the map to the Dragon Masters and asked them to find a treasure. She had also been This guy means business. Not let any of those know about their mission. The Dragon Masters were the way to go on this quest. They were curious about the Dragon Masters. Okay, I was not going easy on him. That was not a glitch. That guy earned that perfect. Aha! Shoot. He knows I'm going to fall for that every time. I'm a punk. He's going to do it until I block it. There we go. <laughs> Crap. Take that. I, this guy's really mean. This is more like it. I, I get some hits before he kills me.
punk? Did not die. They survived. By some miracle, they survived. 
I'm not playing super bad exactly. These people are playing well. <laughs> This doesn't seem good. ...to make of these strangers who had landed on their island uninvited. The Dragon Masters and their dragons stared back at them with curiosity and surprise too. They did not know who these people were or where they came from. They did not know if they were friends or foes. They did not know what to do or say next. They stood still and silent, waiting for someone to make the first move. No, don't beat me. No. No. It is very far from here. I was close that time. Look at that. All losses. Jury's going to start out in like the lowest rank available. Don't do it! No! Darn you, DJ! I want a match. 
It's a miracle. No! Oh, he had no idea that was going to work. Of course he was going to do that. I don't even know how to play in Zangies, but I'm going to choose him after I'm done with this jury lock loose streak on me. Speaking of Zangief, here he is. It's Zangief. He is the protector of Russian skies. He's probably going to lose, so I'm just guessing. I'll communicate with your dragon through my mind. Thank you. 
No! No! Oh my gosh, my health is gone. I wasn't even close. Whoa! That was a big kick. You can't jump in on Zangief. He does that every time. I can't do that, but I just want to. I like to jump. Every time I refuse to learn. I'm in trouble. Drake smiled and thought. Master Isaac, he 
Okay, it says I'm silver, so I go to rank. Maybe. Hello. Drake turned and saw a girl running towards him. She was about his age, with long black hair and brown eyes. She wore a dress. I said Zangief, didn't I? I changed my mind. She had a bird track. If we're still playing after I, you know, play as Jamie, we'll do Zangief after. Zangief after Jamie. Drake felt a jolt of surprise and something else. Something he could not explain. Something that made his heart beat faster and his cheeks turn red. Something that made him want to talk to her and get to know her better. Something that made him feel happy. Why he said shy. The girl reached him and stopped in front of him. Crap, I'm gonna lose this one. I can tell. Maybe I should learn golf. Who are you? She asked politely. Where are you from? What is your name? No mercy. What kind of dragon is he? How did you get here? She asked so many questions that Drake did not know where to start. He opened his mouth to answer, but before he could say anything, she spoke again. I'm sorry, she said apologetically. I don't mean to be rude and noted. I'm just curious. <laughs> Not even close. She's my best friend, she said so. We share everything with each other. Our thoughts, our feelings, our dreams. She looked at Drake again and smiled at me. And you? She asked him. What about you and your dragon? Tell me your name. Drake felt a warm glow in his chest. Be like this girl. Platinum doll zines are not to be trifled with. I'm a nothing Jamie. I've never used him. So he's he's zoning me so well. I you're tempted to just stop trying, but you never you never stop trying. In theory, you can always make a comeback. Theoretically. Okay, he scared me away from Jamie for a second. I'm gonna try Zangief. Just because I should be able to have better luck. Zangief isn't too chicken. Let's see. Although I don't know all of his moves. She grabbed his hand and brought him towards a rocky cliff. She climbed up the cliff with ease and motioned for him to follow her. Drake hesitated. He was not very good at climbing. He preferred to stay on the ground. He looked at Worm and saw him nodding encouragingly. Asterisk, go ahead. Drake asterisk, he said in his mind. Asterisk, I'll wait for you here, dot asterisk. Drake nodded back and followed Luna up the cliff. 
He tried not to look down or lose his grip. He <gasps> felt nervous and scared. Grab that kick. But he also felt curious and excited. He wondered what Luna wanted to show him. He wondered if it was something special. He wondered if it was something <laughs> magical. It's cool. He reached the top of the <gasps> and saw Luna waiting. It makes you do two circles to she do it. She pointed at a hole in the wall of the cliff. Here it is, she said proudly. The secret cave. She crawled into the hole and disappeared into the darkness. Drake looked at the hole with doubt. He did not like dark places. He preferred to stay in the light. There's so many unique attacks, you can't possibly memorize them all fast. So it's like, whatever. Asterisk, don't worry. Drake asterisk, she said in his mind. Asterisk, it's safe, dot asterisk. Drake nodded back and followed Luna into the hole. He tried not to be so many. or claustrophobic. He felt nervous and scared. But he also felt curious and excited. I had no idea he had he so many throws. Inside the cave. He wondered if it was something amazing. He wondered if it was something magical. He crawled through the hole and emerged into a large chamber. Wish me luck. Pray for me. As he saw what was Say inside. a prayer for me. The cave was filled with crystals of different colors and shapes. They sparkled and shimmered in the dim light that came from a hole in the ceiling. They cast rainbow shadows on the walls and floor of the cave. They made soft sounds that echoed in the air. The cave was beautiful, and it was magical. Drake felt a surge of wonder and joy as he looked around the cave. He had never seen anything like it before. He looked at Luna and saw her smiling at him with happiness. Who is it? I missed Isn't it. Isn't it amazing? She asked softly. Drake nodded speechlessly. It's incredible, he said. Finally. Shoot, am I still broadcasting? Luna took his there hand and led him deeper into the cave. She showed him different crystals and told him their names and properties. She also told him how she had found the cave and why she liked to come here with Celine. She told him that this cave was her special place, where she felt calm and peace, special place. where she could be herself and share her secrets with Celine. She also told him that this cave was where she had her dreams, where she could see the past and future in her sleep. She told him that she had a gift that no one else in the tribe had, she could see the past and future in her dreams. She told him because she trusted him. She trusted him so much that she told him her secret. She told him about her gift and what it meant for them. Asterisk, That's asterisk, impressive. It can do Luna tells captions. She has seen live streams. It's Manon. Don't panic, mes amis. Drake it's a fat story with fascination and disbelief. He could not believe that she had such a gift. <laughs> He could not believe that she could see the past and future in her dreams. He wondered how it was possible. He wondered how it worked. He wondered what it felt like. He asked her more questions and she answered them as best as she did. She told him that she had always had this gift ever since she was a baby. She told him that she did not know how or why she had it. But she thought it was a blessing from the gods. She told him that she could not control it or choose what to see. Oh my gosh, everyone is so good. She told him that it felt I'm good with Manat in Street Fighter V. She's not even in this game. She also told him that she had seen in her dreams. Yes. Please bring Manat back. She had seen him and his friends in her dreams. Not in the way that she had seen. Yeah. 
like how do you get the how do you get that super kick? Getting my butt kicked just as bad as Jamie. Suspiria. He felt a spark of attraction and affection for her. She was smart, beautiful, funny, and sweet. She was I didn't want to stay in Zengi. I got discouraged by Zengi. As a team, we got to think about it. What's that ballet movie I like with like the young people who are. <gasps> You just need to look at the filmography of that lady who's in all the Marvel movies and the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, because she was in it. That was like her first movie where it's like, we know who that is. Remember the lyrics of the song from it. That you were dancing and it feels all right. I should risk copyright problems and play that song for us or a snippet of it. So you know what I'm talking about. Ken just does that combo to be a punk. That was crazy recovery, no way. He like does a super combo and instantly recovers. This is nonsense. Oh! <gasps> 
Can't cancel out of that low crouching kick, I guess. <gasps> there you go. That was stylish. I, I'm on a losing streak, but you gotta admit that was a stylish move. Protector of Russian skies. I'm a bad representative of communism. I'm just a jumper. I'm a rabbit. They, they mock me for that. I always jump too much. I get no respect among the Street Fighter players. They call me a rabbit. the trailer. No, that'll probably cause the screen to fail. It's not Take the Lead. That's, that's a different dancing movie that I like. Or Strictly Ballroom. That's another dancing movie I like. ruining my life and my world. messing up the stream. Let's see if we can do this. It'll be fancy. Fancy footwork. They knew they were in trouble. They were in trouble. Maldred laughed and dragged them out of the cave. He threw them on the back. 
back at his dark dragon, a huge beast with black scales, red eyes, and sharp teeth. Shoot, what did I do? He climbed on after the more crowd. <gasps> did I end the stream? Selene, who was still in the cave. I ended she the stream. She had sensed Maldred's presence and tried to warn Luna, but it was too late. She glared at Maldred with hatred and defiance. She was ready to fight him. Maldred smirked and snapped his fingers. A dark cloud appeared around Selene and enveloped her. She disappeared from sight. Okay, it says my stream key is being used right now, so, but that doesn't make sense. How can it be used? Don't continue. Okay. I just go here and I say Can you see what I'm doing? Yes, you should be able to. <gasps> no, it ended it. No. So I can't remember the name of her ballet movie and I can't remember the name of her, <laughs> but she was in Star Trek. Let's just do Pirates of the Caribbean. This is a short intermission. see them all. I already said view all. I'm going to feel so stupid when I find out her name because it's like common knowledge. This list is too long. Um... a good intermission because it'll it'll have fruit. 
by the fruit of this intermission, you will know that it's a good intermission. Okay, what's her name? It's on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> I remember her. So you go to her page. And then you scroll down to when people didn't know her so good. When I was a youngster. <gasps> well, remember the title now. Can you see this? Probably, yeah. Okay, so I go to, where's the trailer? Go to search bar and we say, I'd buy the DVD right now. Except I don't have a DVD player. <laughs> I like to stream. This is bringing up memories for me right now because I used to have the MP3 of that I'm dancing and it feels all right song. And now I've got to like share that to Facebook and say a hint of pep every time I want you people to have a little more pep. This feels really quiet. Maybe that's a blessing in disguise. I won't be hit for copyright problems. It's like, why is it so quiet? I hear nothing. I hear nothing from this. So that's like a problem, right?
have an idea. We have so many promising students this year, I find it hard to keep them straight. Don't worry. I won't forget. You know who I saw on my way in? Who? Cooper Nielsen. Jody Sawyer. How fun. We'll go for a ride. Hey. Did he seem as cocky in person as he is on TV? I heard he hasn't spoken to anyone. But he talked to me. What's your name, dear? Jody Sawyer. You need to concentrate on your turnout. <laughs> Does that help? Probably not. But it doesn't hurt. How'd you end up a dancer anyway, Charlie? You meet better looking girls in the dance world. She's so good. Yeah, just ask her. You're not like most of the girls here. Your technique is nowhere near where it should be. What, you went to a special bitch academy or something? Jody's hopeless. She'll never make it. You understand what I'm saying? Use what you have. We all heard you. You don't have to speak to her like that. This is my classroom. Are you kicking me out? I want you to really think this is the right place for you. Do you have a 5.30 class? What kind would you like? Anything but ballet. Let's do it! You're not here by mistake. Someone at your audition watched you dance and saw something special. What you gotta do is figure out how to find that again. This is your dream. It's your dream. If this were what I wanted, I, I wouldn't be as unhappy. You two dance really well together. How come you're not seeing someone? I see someone. She doesn't know I see. Again. He's out. It helps me see things more clearly. Drake nodded and said understandingly. I see. That makes sense. He thought about his own special place, where he felt calm and peaceful too. It was not a cave, but a forest. It was where he had met Worm for the first time. He thought about his own story, how he had become a dragon master and what it meant to see. I think I fixed everything. I'm still on track. Please tell me I'm not so zangy. I don't feel like the protector of Russian skies. Fight! 
No more genius. He decided to rule their lives and their world. He decided to attack the ramp and take what he wanted. Asterisk, asterisk, 11. Maldred kidnaps Luna and Selene and takes them to another island where he has the dragon's eye. He plans to use Luna's gift and the dragon's eye to control all it. dragons and defeat the dragon masters. Got asterisk, asterisk. Drake and Luna were so lost in their kiss that they did not notice the dark figure approaching them from behind. They did not hear his footsteps on the cave floor or his breath on their necks. They did not feel his hand on their shoulders or his grip on their arms. They only Here comes a new challenger! Too late. They felt a sharp pain in their heads and a cold chill in their hearts. They opened their eyes and saw his face. It was Maldred. So we will bring it to No mercy. Drake and Luna gasped in horror and tried to pull away from him. But they could not do it. They were paralyzed by his dark blood. You're in my way. They were in my way. They were in They were in my way. They were in my way. They were in I'm gonna win this one. 
I am good. I'm very good. As a matter of fact, I'm too good to be true. Mr. Sellers. Behind Margaret's guards and machines, right in the scratch of the 
what I was trying to do. <laughs> Thank you. 
always do that move when I don't want to. There we go. There, there, there. You train them to, to counter. books so skinny or just the ones I helped make? Characters I've used today. Chun Li is the first one with a fireball. So we'll see how this goes.
instincts. Unending pain. No, there's no way that hit me. No way. So violent. Yeah. <laughs> 
I didn't even know. I thought I was the other one. I don't even know what I'm doing. wants to tease me how to play Banan. I've never done a custom room. I don't even know what this is. He resisted. He resisted with all his strength and will. He resisted with all his arrogance and greed. Here comes a new challenger. Maybe I should friend request this person. He said to drink. Well, we have a record of him inviting me to a custom room. The dragon's eye is mine. Expecting that, we thought I was a pushover. I thought we already 
in number 17. What's going on? So messy, no one talks to me.
They saw them alive and well. Drake and Luna gasped in joy and relief. They recognized their family's voices in their minds. Asterisk Drake. Luna. You're back. You're back. Asterisk. Asterisk Drake. Dad. You're here. You're here. Asterisk. Asterisk yes. Voices of the spirit. Only I can hear it. We are so happy to see you. We are so happy you're okay. Asterisk. Asterisk. We are so happy to see you too. We are so happy you're okay too. Asterisk. Asterisk. We missed you so much. We worried about you so much. Asterisk. Asterisk. We missed you too. We worried about you too. Asterisk. Asterisk. Here comes a so new much. challenger. We love you so much. Asterisk. Asterisk. We love you too. We love you too. Asterisk. Drake and Luna landed on the ground and ran towards their families. I'm ready. They have all the kiss and the joy. I want to hug Drake and Luna so gratefully. Drake. No way she could lift up that guy. I'm in trouble. This guy's hitting me all over the place. I'm wondering if this is the style of the Dragon Master series or if like AI is just acting weird. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but it must be a great book. We have to pay attention now. This is the best part. I 
think I got lucky. This guy's kicking my butt and I beat him. No! Oh gosh, I gotta go to the bathroom. Kepri looked at Anna and nodded. She whispered back in her ear with a confident voice. Yes, he does. Don't deny it. Everyone can see it. Anna looked at Kepri and shook her head. She whispered back in her ear with a skeptical voice. No, they can't. Because it's not true. Watch this. 
She turned around and shouted at Bo with a loud voice. Hey, Bo. Do you like Anna? Search for it, man. Boom. Right? But today, I finally found a game that's exactly the same as it's shown in the ads. It's challenging and interesting. You don't believe me? All right, let me show you. Oh, yes, I know where the best loot is hidden. Yeah, nice. I'm gonna attack from the back. Dang. May the blessing of elves, men, and all three folk go with you. May the stars shine upon yeah, your faces. Me. These Fight. people love the Dragon Master cool. series, so I hope gotcha. you appreciate this one. Wow, brilliant. All right. Even this huge skeleton I don't know if you can see that. I'll do it one more time. Wow, nice double-edged dagger. Spectacular. Choose the next level. Play it. Turn your boring updated holiday into a magical mother. With Miss Marvin and Mr. Cogolis. Pick up fresh every time. Real. Both of them This with no gluten or peanuts. Well, that was an interesting one. Also a special one. I really enjoyed that one. Especially the intermission where we did the center stage trailer. And we're dancing. And it feels all right. I can't control my desire. And we're dancing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Begin by simply listening. Slow down. See just how peaceful today can be. I have been your host, your obedient servant, Sebastian St. Smalls. I hope you had a good time. Catch you guys on the flip side. As I said in one of my videos, um, I'm with you to the end. To the end of the line, my Valentine. Catch you guys on the flip side. Air La Beast. Combat training. Put up your dukes. Bum, 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 bum. Combat training. Ice. Stare. Ice. Stare. Ice. Stare. Ice. Stare. Ice. Stare. <laughs> Don't panic, mes amis. It's a fait accompli. Hey, my brother, can I borrow a copy of your Hey Soul Classics? No, my brother, you've got to go buy your own. <laughs>